some people have commented that uh, maybe the videos I make are kind of boring. You know, just beautiful scenery, nothing new happening. Nothing adventurous or exciting. So, this will change that. Here we are with the dinghy. About two foot of water. And we are in Sarasota. We anchored just over there. And we were heading out to the Gulf to head to Venice. And we cut across this sandbar. And we're only uh, about 30 miles away from completing the Great Loop. And so far we've had no troubles. There's Michelle relaxing in the back in her hammock. If you noticed, uh, Agape has a little bit of a list. It's leading to starboard. So when we bumped the sandbar, it got gradual, shallow, gradual, so, so gradual that we kind of slid onto it. Tried, tried getting it off with a dinghy. Uh, the water's gone down. Of course, we hit it right when the tide was going out. So, let me uh, talk a little bit about what happened. So, when we hit, we were just barely in the sand. Tried rotating with a dinghy. The dinghy couldn't do it, so we called Towboat US which is who we have a policy with. So we're in Sarasota. Towboat US came out and about, I don't know, maybe a hundred yards that way, it's deep water. Well, we came from that way, where that big boat is. There's plenty of water that way. But he said he didn't have enough water to tow us and he wanted to tow us through the shallow sandbar out to here I said I don't think it's gonna work and he said he didn't think he would be able to get his boat over there where that big boat is see that big boat with three outboards so he wanted to tow us this direction over the sandbar so he all he did was move us more onto the sandbar and it took him an hour and it was about an hour and 30 minutes to get here. So this is not a great video if you're a Towboat USA fan. Uh, the guy really didn't know what he was doing. At least that's my opinion. I actually think he made it worse. Uh, instead of pulling us that way, he pulled us this way. If that makes sense. So um, the other company, Tow... Uh, to I forget the name of the other company. The Yellow Boats, not the red ones. Um, honey, what's the name of the company? Sito. Yeah, Sito. So Sito came out, and they were here watching the whole thing. And he finally came over after Boat US left, because they were making it worse. A uh, really nice guy, his name's Sam. He came over looked at us he says there's no way you're going to get off so he's went to his uh, shop where they're getting airbags they're going to put airbags under it and float it probably still won't even get off because the tide's so low now but you can see we're stuck and to make the video even more exciting we have some damage to the prop and to the the keel guard under the rudder and the uh, prop is a big piece of bronze that goes under to kind of keep you from if you hit something you don't mess up your prop or your shaft well that guy towing us and spinning us in the opposite direction spun that uh, that brass cover and now it's bent up into the prop. So we are getting, we're gonna have to get towed and we're gonna have to get to a yard to get hauled out. And we had to file a claim with Progressive. So yeah, this is a 30, I think we have 35, 40 miles left 
before we cross our wake and pop the champagne. Here we go. I'll keep you updated.